Hey girl gang, it's Dr. Joy here and you are watching Delivering Joy MD. We are still in our Super Mama Summer Series and today I have a fantastic special guest. Hands down, she's the best L&D, best postpartum and the best nursery nurse I have ever had the pleasure of working with. Don't get jealous, Grady nurses. I still love y'all too, but I mean, she's just the best. Make sure you keep watching. So now that we kind of understand a little bit about how the breast milk gets made, talk a little bit about the latch. I feel like this is one of the biggest issues that women run into. Um, so they've got their cup, they've got their ibuprofen on board, they're sitting down with their baby about to breastfeed. Now, how do we, how does the rubber meet the road and we actually get this baby going? Well, the biggest thing really and truly is a couple of important things is the first one is cue based feedings okay um babies will let you know when they're hungry and just like the other video that we were talking about usually for the first month of life when a baby's awake they're hungry mm -hmm. as soon they're like me when i wake up i'm ready to eat and <laughs> so pretty much as soon as the baby wakes up they're going to be hungry so other hunger cues may be that they start doing what we call rooting. That's a word that mm -hmm. you hear nurses and doctors talk about. And basically what that says is if anything comes by a baby's mouth, they're going to turn towards it. Right. They're going to just, if you brush a blanket or a hand or anything next to them, they're going to go. Like try to eat it. All right, they're just mouth wide open, trying to find something to put in you their mouth. You know the funniest thing is, like, I really enjoy my Baker babies, and I love to hold them. They're gonna be just all, all over. The over. They're the trying to, you know, and I, I'm holding them and I'm looking at them, and they're just like the whole time trying to get to my <laughs> boob. Like I'm like, there's nothing there for you, and so that rooting That's is rooting. a natural response. They're like. I'm like, yeah. hey, 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 hey. There's nothing. And they'll there. they'll smack. Sometimes they'll lick their lips. They'll they look like an older person that's lost all of their teeth. They're just ready to gum. <laughs> Anything that comes near them, they'll be like that. And, you know, another sign that people think is a sign of hunger, which is, you know, hangry, is that a baby cries. But crying is actually a late hunger cue. If your baby has gotten to the point that they're crying, and chances are you missed some of those earlier hunger cues. And that's hey. one of the reasons that we don't encourage pacifiers. I'll go ahead and just interject that right now. I'm not mm -hmm. a pacifier hater. It's easier to get rid of a pacifier than it is to cut off a finger or thumb. Um, but we don't want babies to miss those hunger cues for the parents to miss them. Right. And so a lot of times what will happen is people will stick a pacifier in their mouth and really the baby should be nursing. Right. You know, and, and I've never seen any pacifier in all of my years of nursing that has ever looked like a woman's nipple. I mean, they like just, they just long, it's long you know? and it's bigger, it's easier to get. So the babies have to turn their mouth a different way to suck on a pacifier than they do your nipple. So mm -hmm. we don't want them to have to deal with trying to figure and out get very what am I supposed to, to do. Pressure right. They're back in, totally in different. The, in that deeper part of their tongue. And when they actually have their mom's nipple, they're like, what? What is this? Right, it's different. It's firmer. It doesn't taste the same. It doesn't smell the same. It doesn't feel the same. Mm -hmm. it doesn't work the same. So, you know, I often encourage you not to use a pacifier until breastfeeding has been well established. Until right. you're good at it and the baby's good at it, try not to use a pacifier if you can help it. So when the baby starts showing those hunger cues and, and you're thinking, okay, I'm ready. I'm fixing to breastfeed my baby. Well, you need to be comfortable. Because breastfeeding sessions, they may last five minutes, they may last 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes as a breastfeeding session. So the mom needs to be comfortable. The ibuprofen, the water, and find you a comfortable spot. Unfortunately, in the hospital, it's hard to find a comfortable spot. So pillows, pillow behind your back, pillow up under your arms. Mm -hmm. You get as comfortable as possible and bring the baby to you. Right. You know, you see all the time, I'm sure you've walked in and seen women, they'll be trying to breastfeed. They're like, they're like all it. laid over sideways and, and your back gets to hurting and you're uncomfortable and, you know, you just don't have as good of a letdown experience if you're uncomfortable. Latch is a very um, unique thing thing in the fact that every baby has a different latch right 
you know, and I usually tell the moms, I personally like the football hold, and that's where the baby's head is up here, and they're tucked up around you up under your arm. It just worked good for me because I was a C-section, so you know, you've got some tenderness going on in the in stomach belly, area yeah. down here. Mm -hmm. So football, and I had a big baby too. So, you know, he was almost nine pounds. So nine pounds worth of weight. And I'm short. I mean, for those of you who know me, you know I'm short. So I don't have much of a waist. So that was just a good position to keep a big baby off of my belly where I could see him good. Right. So a lot of times I will help other women latch in that position because it worked for me. But you can also have them latched across your belly. Yeah, like cross body. You know, I've had women that have had like larger breasts that have a hard time. And I've actually set the baby up to almost like where you sort of support the back of their head. And she can just sort of hold her breast here. And they'll just in a sitting position. You can do it sideline, mm -hmm. which, you know, you're laying completely on your side. And the baby's just sort of up next to you. But the biggest thing is try to figure out what works for you. And different positions right. will work differently depending on where you are. You may have a sofa at home that you do in one position. And you may have a chair at your mom's house that you breastfeed in a different position. But, you know, any health care provider should be able to help, to help you find, you find a, the a spot position. that works yeah. for you, you know. And the biggest thing is, too, that I always tell everybody that your baby needs to have the ear and the shoulder and the hips aligned. And we do this very simply when I've taught class before is, you know, look straight ahead. And everybody that's watching this video, look straight ahead and swallow. Just take a swallow. Now, get a little bit more spittle there and turn your head sideways and try to swallow. That's it's, hard. <laughs> it's, it's painful. That's why we don't sit in the restaurant and, you know, drink our drinks like this. Because if your baby's head is turned sideways, it's hard for them to swallow. So in whatever position they're in, whatever position that might be, just look at them and make sure that their ear mm -hmm. and their shoulder and their hip is in alignment. Don't let them be all kind of twisted up everywhere. Right. Get to, as they get older, they will sort of find their own comfortable position, mm -hmm. but initially for the first month or so when they still don't have a lot of neck control, right. and you can just turn them to you. And a lot of people think that they'll hold the baby with their back here and turn the baby's head to them while they're breastfeeding. Yeah, but no. the babies kind of need to be belly to belly right. to you. That's the best way. If their belly is up against your belly in whatever position it is, that usually pretty much keeps them very good alignment. So, you know, we want them to be aligned. And, you know, another thing that women talk about is they're afraid it's going to hurt. Right. And, and I think that's more to do with the latch, usually. It, usually, most of the time, if it's painful, it's because the baby has a shallow latch. And I mm -hmm. do another thing, too, is I'll say, you know, take this part, the little flappy part of your finger right here between your finger and your thumb, and pinch it. And if you pinch it, it hurts. Mm -hmm. It hurts to pinch that. Take the same and, and dig further into your hand and squeeze it. It, it doesn't hurt. Pinch like right. That's the difference. So yeah. if your baby is hurting most of the time, it's because they just have like just the nipple. The baby should have not only the nipple, but some of the areola. The colored okay. skin needs to be there as well. And people think that the baby latches on using their mouth. And even though they do, what you want to do is align your nipple with the baby's nose. Okay. Because they're going to almost, you can imagine if this is your baby's mouth, wah, 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 wah. Mm -hmm. if you brush down against a baby, when you brush down on that bottom lip, they will drop it. Right. That's they're not going to necessarily sit there like a bird with their mouth. Sometimes they will, but very often they aren't. So the way that you're going to trigger that is you're going to put the nipple against your baby's nose and kind of scoop the baby up against it. And what's going to happen is they're going to open their, their bottom of their mouth and the nipple and the areola is going to fall in. Mm -hmm. If you if you start just putting their mouth against the nipple, they're just going to get the, the nipple. nipple. So you kind of want to scoop. We want as much, as much areola in because the baby uses the back of their tongue 
to compress. Mm -hmm. And if you're just putting something on the front of their tongue, they're just doing like this. And it's just pinchy, 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 pinchy. Mm -hmm. But if you actually put the nipple and the areola, they're using their jaw. Right. So the jaw really will good, move up and down. And they've got a deep latch and a mm -hmm. deep suck. Now, there are some conditions. If your baby's tongue-tied, the little tag of skin that's behind, below your tongue, mm -hmm. it, some of the, sometimes that tag will come to the tip of the baby's tongue, and that's tongue-tied. Um and some pediatricians will recommend that you that go that somewhere and get it clipped. clipped. Yeah. And also, there's another frenulum, the one that's between your lip, okay. right there. And, and like keep them from actually poking their lips out. They good. aren't able to do that fish. Yeah. Right. They aren't able to turn up completely. And I've had a couple of moms that have had that. You know, I had a mom that came to me, and she breastfed her first baby. It never hurt. She never had any problems. She's like, I just don't understand it. She's hurt me. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I said, just come up here to the hospital. Let me look at it. I looked, I flipped because I had, my son had that as well. And I didn't even know that that existed until like he was older. Mm -hmm. And I, I went home after I was at a conference and I flipped it up and I was like, well, I'll be. He was, <laughs> he was lip tied, you know, because it's because of labial pain. you were fed for quite a long time yes. and you said it was so painful. It was painful. Like every time that I did it, like I was almost in tears, but I was committed and I did it for like two and a half years. Wow. Because it was just that important to me, and I just endured it for the first, you know, couple of minutes. <laughs> I was just like, ah. but that's what happened is he had that tight labial frenulum, and that lady did too. So I flipped it up. I said, well, he's got a tight frenulum. She went to a the pediatrician, and the pediatrician referred him to somebody that would clip it. Clipped it. Baby did fine. It's a very small procedure. It's not even really painful mm -hmm. for him. And she, after that, no more pain. Good. So, you know, make sure that you have a deep latch. Make sure that you're comfortable. Make sure you have some ibuprofen. Make sure you have some water. Make sure you get plenty of naps and sleeps. And, and if it is painful, then seek out some help. Don't, right. don't just say... I quit. I know at, at, for my patients at our hospital, we do have a lactation consultant who can make appointments with you even after you go home. Richarda um, worked with me at my last hospital and man, you want to talk about breastfeeding dedication. Richarda would give these moms her phone number, her personal phone number, and people would call and text all times of the day and night. And she was just so dedicated and she is so dedicated to breastfeeding that she sacrifices her personal time when she's not even at the hospital to help these moms. And I just think it's fantastic. If you've got an issue that you want to talk about, that you want to stick in the comments, go right ahead. We want you to have the best possible breastfeeding experience um, that you can have with your baby. Success. Success you feels so good. I see so many of my patients who are just like, I feel so good about the fact that I'm able to give my baby something wonderful. I didn't even know there was a button going around. Apparently, like you can post like, that mm -hmm. first group that you and I had and like all of them breastfed and then like, like a meal, year, yeah, like a year around like, the room. Like, we they have like a certificate. Yeah, like we got a little, and it's, it's really, it's best such, a, such a good accomplishment. So tell us about your breastfeeding experience down in the comments. If you're having trouble breastfeeding, tell us about that too. We would love to engage with you on this topic and we'll see you on the next video, girl gang. Peace. See you soon girl gang Don't forget to subscribe and comment below